welcome to Turtle Burger, a crochet and knitting podcast. My name is Brittany. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you being here. Today is Tuesday, November 29th, 2022. Before I get into today's projects, I have a few things that I would like to share with you. Um, first, there is a Turtle Burger podcast Ravelry group. Currently, we have a make-along, a brioche make-along happening through December 31st. We would love to have you join us um, if you are making any brioche projects. I will link all of that information down below. Also, um, we are coming into Vlogmas. Um, not that anyone has asked, but I will be <laughs> doing Vlogmas, um, mainly just because I enjoy it. Mine is a lot different than um, a lot of the people that I watch. I don't get into the fancy editing or anything. Mine are just basically short um, project vlogs. <laughs> I will, usually, usually what I did last year, this will be my second year, is every day I come on and tell you, you know, what I plan on working that day. And then at the end of the day, hopefully I get some footage of me at least knitting in between, but I don't know if that I will. Um, but then at the end of the day, I show you those same projects and if there was any progress made on them. Um, so that's pretty much how mine go. They're very quick. Like I said, I just enjoy doing it. So, you know, if no one watches, that's totally fine <laughs> too. Um, what else do I have? This is episode 29 of the podcast. Um, I'm trying to go to a weekly schedule just so that I don't get overwhelmed because um, I have a lot of projects and I tend to cast on a lot of projects. So um, yeah, in today's video, I have three finished objects and I'm only going to show one, two, there are three um i don't know how many oh there it is one two three works in progress and then um i want to show you and share a couple of things that will be cast on immediately like before the next podcast um okay so let's just get into it <laughs> and it's late at night everyone's asleep but me and burger so if you hear him on the monitor sorry about that um i'm treating myself to some hot chocolate <laughs> it's peppermint or no candy cane it's kind of the same thing but candy cane chocolate truffle hot chocolate and it is so good and i use my christmas mug year round by the way <laughs> mm. okay the first finished object I have is very small. It is just a little bobble, a little Christmas bobble. So this one, the plan is to do um, each of my family members' favorite colors. And I didn't plan that until after I made the first one. So this was the first one I made. And then we, my husband and I decided it would be fun to have one in each of our family members' colors. So we started off with Little Lady, and she has made the ornament all wonky. She's been playing with it. <laughs> Let me see if I can fix that here. No, we'll just show the good side. <laughs> um, so this is the Stockinette Swatch Cozy Bobble by Stacy Lewis, who is the Knitting Tutor. Um, I used a 2.75 millimeter needle, and the yarn was, I had seven grams left over of breaking yarn in the color hazmat suit. That was a color that um, Little Lady specifically requested when we were watching McKaylee's podcast one time. So I immediately ordered her some. And when I got to here, this was a DK weight and the patterns call for a fingering weight. Um, I... I guess I thought seven grams would be enough, but it wasn't. Um, so right here, you can tell that's where I ran out of yarn. And so I substituted with some Red Heart Super Saver. 
out of the skein, they looked like they were a really close match, but when it's worked up, you can tell that it's much lighter, but that's okay. It's just for our family, it won't bother anyone. So that is that. Um, the next finished object I have are two hats for two sisters who are our nieces. They are both the same patterns. And let's see here, they were, one hat was living in this bag and the other hat was living in this Christmas bag. They were both recently given to me. Um, and this one actually is from Cottontail Farm. Super, super cute. So here the hats are. <laughs> okay. So this, well, I'll do this one first. This is the one I made first. They are both the same pattern, which is Twisted Ladders Beanie by Jessica Paws Creates. Um, I tested these for her, or this pattern back in October, 2020, when I was a brand new knitter. So this one is for the younger sister. And the Twisted Ladders Beanie is basically just a combination of the bamboo stitch very quick to easy to work up very easy this one is made in um, lion brand hometown in the color portland wine and that was from stash and i added a black pom-pom that i got on amazon a couple of years ago they work up really really quickly super cute on um i'll just try them on and there's her hat so they're really cute i actually have a bright pink one um in this yarn that i wear with a white pom-pom and little lady has a matching one that we are starting to wear when we go out oh my hair okay and the second hat is for the older sister Again, it's the same pattern, Twisted Ladders Beanie, and a white pom-pom, and it is Lion Brand Hometown in the color San Diego Navy. So, they are really, really cute. I made the adult large. I will link the um, Ravelry page below. I don't know if she has these on her website uh, or on her blog. I'm not sure if, if she does or not, but um, here they are, super cute. So now I will segue that into the first work in progress, which is the hat for their, oh, you know what? Let me, before I do that, um, I showed you the yarn. Both of those were worked up on a, um, what size is a nine millimeter, which is a U.S. size 13. Um, and it pretty much used the entire skein of both. I'm not sure. What's funny is the purple one, even though they're the same yarn and they're both a super bulky weight, feels very thick, is a lot thicker. And this is all I have left from that. But then this hat feels, again, super bulky weight. And it's stuck on my needles here. <laughs> um, super bulky weight, but it feels much lighter. And this is what I have. So that's pretty crazy because it's the same pattern. So I don't know. I think I'm getting quite a bit of bulky scraps. I ought to go through them and just make it like a, like a super bulky scrappy hat or something. <laughs> um, okay, but there are those. So that, that is two Christmas gifts done. Now I can segue. <laughs> into their older brother's hat, which is my first work in progress. Um, so this is not hardly anything, <laughs> but this will be another um, classic World War II um, Watchman's cap. And it is a free pattern on Ravelry. And it is from, I believe her name is Helen Waits. So it's not, all it is is a two by two 
rib for so many inches. Um, and I made my husband one and he really likes it. I asked if he wanted to just go ahead and wear it. He was like, no, I'll, I'll keep it for Christmas. <laughs> so that's nice. Um, so the yarn I'm using is Red Heart Super Saver in the color black. And I'm not sure if I'm going to end up undoing this. I've already tinked back a few rows. I did have um, a little bit more done on it. But for some reason, it's like really wide right here. And I tinked back to where I thought it would fix it and then worked it around a little bit. But I don't know. And I, I don't know if that's going to drive me crazy or not. And I know this is black and hard to see. But you can see that big hole right there. And this does get folded up. Um, so I don't. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. I don't want to get too far ahead and then realize I don't like it. And But when I'm already close enough that I can just restart it and no big deal, that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, because that is likely to drive me crazy. <laughs> I'll be honest. It's a pretty short drive, but nonetheless. Um, let's see. What else do I have? Oh, um, I am back to working on my dishcloths. So what I really need to do, um, which I make a dishcloth a month from the Kitchen Sink Shop. It's an email pattern club. And the first of the month, she sends you a free pattern. And I mostly have kept up with it this year. We're in November. I've cast it on, not gotten anywhere with that. So it's not even worth bringing out and showing you. The only month I had not done was June, and I had gotten pretty far with it, but ripped it out and restarted. And I was going to just leave it and catch up with November, but the reason I didn't is because the pigskin party hosted by Down Cellar Studio, uh, Boston Gin, is having a, uh, like a bonus uh, where any whips that you had before um, the beginning of the pigskin party started, you can finish those and get points for it. So I thought I would, these are two, or this is a small project that I should be able to get done. So I thought I would just continue with that. So here it is. This is June's dishcloth of the month by the kitchen sink shop, which is called Narnia. And it is coming along. Um, it actually works up pretty quickly. Um, I did quite a bit of it. Actually, I did where this is. This marker minus two rounds or rows. So one, two, eight, and nine. So I did from here about here up. Watching Christy Archer's podcast last night. So it moves along pretty quickly. Um, and the yarn I'm using for that is Mainstays 100% Cotton in the color Soft Silver. Hopefully I can get that done really quickly um, and then go on to my other projects. What I really want to finish for that um, is my Spindrift Shawl. I haven't even gotten anywhere productive with that <laughs> since the last podcast or whenever the last time I showed it was. Um, and then the last work in progress I wanted to show you, I am just really enjoying this, is the headband with a twist. I cannot remember her name, um, but she it's a free pattern on Ravelry, and she also has a free video tutorial of it. And this is what I'm changing for my brioche project. Um, I was making a brioche hat, I'm going to keep making that, don't get me wrong, but it's not going to get done anytime soon. Um, but this is done in English rib, which is basically brioche. Uh, my understanding, and I may have this completely wrong, but the little bit of research that I did is brioche is a technique of knitting and within the technique there are methods such as English rib so that's my story and I'm sticking to it <laughs> so um, again this is the headband with a twist and here's what I have so far I've just been working on it a little here and there um, 
I didn't get too far as much as I wanted. I easily should have been able to finish this within a day, but then other projects pick up and those hats were just so nearly finished. I just, I just had to. Um, and here's the yarn I'm using for that. This is so incredibly soft. I cannot even believe it. Um, it is, this was donated slash gifted to me. Um, and it is Knit Picks Andean Treasure in the color, I believe Calypso Heather, if I'm, yeah, Calypso Heather. And um, I absolutely love this yarn. It is 100% alpaca. Is that right? Is that what I saw? Yes, 100% baby alpaca. And it is so incredibly soft. I mean, it's amazing. I cannot wait to get more of that. And that was living or is living in this knitting with pearly bag that was also given to me, which is so neat because I watch her podcast too. So to have opened my box of bags and seen that was just amazing. <laughs> um, okay. So those are all the works in progress that I'm going to show on this episode. Um, but I did want to go over a couple of projects that I plan on um, future cast-ons, but I think I said this in the beginning, will be before next week. Um, they will be cast on nearly immediately. Um, there is another work in progress that I'm going to show, but it will be on Vlogmas Day 2, which is Friday, and that is my candy cane socks that I'm making for Sockmas. So, the Vlogmas Day 2 will be the Sockmas update. That's all I will work on that day. Um, and hopefully I can get more of that made. I really haven't had the time <laughs> to get too far into it. Um, so since I just talked about that headband, let me just go ahead and jump into, I was going, um, if you've watched the past few episodes from my mother-in-law and two sister-in-laws, I was going to make dishcloth sets. But when I started making that, I was like, I'm making them headbands. That's what I'm doing. They're getting headbands because I really like this pattern. Well, when I was telling my husband that that's what I was going to do, he said, I think they would wear fingerless mitts over um, or gloves. I don't think he said fingerless mitts, but um, over headbands. And I agreed I, because I've never seen one of them in a headband but everyone needs gloves, especially here. Um, so I was like, okay, I, you know, I'm down with that. Um, so I changed my mind and I went searching on Ravelry and I decided to make, I think they were just called cuffed fingerless mitts, maybe. Let me check that. So they are called cozy cuffed mitts by Karen Everett. Um, I have not casted them on. They're just a basic, you know, fingerless glove, but they, the top part is ribbed so that it can be left long or folded over, um, depending on what their needs are. Um, but I can't decide between two yarns. I could go crazy and make, I, well, my two sister-in-laws, I don't really know what their favorite colors are. Um, and my mother-in-law, her favorite color is pink, but I don't have a good pink that I would want to use. Um, so I thought I would play it safe and do like a neutral color because I don't know what color their winter coats are, um, you know, to make it kind of matching. So it, it, the pattern calls for worsted weight and using a four millimeter US size six. So my two choices that I thought would be safe are this, which is Red Heart Super Saver in the color Cafe Latte. Or I have a bunch of this black, it looks green, but it's actually black um, yarn because I several years ago made a vest, like a waterfall vest for my um, boss at the time. But it wasn't what she wanted, so I kept it, and I've just been unraveling it as I needed yarn. So I have a, 
a cardigan's worth of this yarn. And so this is black and I am pretty sure um, that this is Hobby Lobby's Soft Secret yarn in the color, I guess just black. It's very similar to like a Karen Simply Soft. So I don't know if this would make too flimsy, whereas this one, the red heart would be sturdy. I tell you what I wish. I wish I had more of that red heart super saver in black. And I, but I, I might get like one pair out of this, but this is a very, red heart is very inconsistent. This is a very soft skein of black heart, or black heart, red heart yarn. Um, so I wish I had more of that one. And this one is okay. I feel like if I, if I blocked them, um, it would soften up a lot because that's what red heart usually does. So I'm not sure which one I should make. I'm going to ask my husband what he thinks. Let me know in the comments if you have a, <laughs> if you have a preference if I should do black or this cafe latte brownish tan kind of color. And then my, so that is one, technically three works in progress. I have a 40 inch cable of my um, four millimeters. So I am hoping to try two at a time. I, I just don't know how that's going to work out. I'm not very good at two at a time. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. So then my next future cast ons are to make more bobbles. I would like to make five. I have this, these four that came in the set. And then I have this one that my friend Leslie gave me that to me needs to be a very special yarn. So I haven't fully decided on that, but hers, so this is the one Leslie gave me. It comes with this beautiful hanger. I'm thinking for this one though, that I'm going to use, this is all I have left, I think, of um, Monarch yarn in the color Ocean Fade. And I'm thinking this one because this yarn is what I used. Um, Leslie and I did like an informal knit along. It was, it wasn't just the two of us, but that's just kind of how it started out. For this, the Be Simple Variations shawl. And um, I don't know. To me, that was just a very special time. So I'm thinking, I mean, that one's going to be a bobble anyway, because I love that yarn. Um, so I don't know. This makes me think of, of that, that knit along the Be Simple Variations shawl. And I don't know. I just kind of feel like that that would make a good a bobble. Um, I haven't decided on a design yet. Um, the ebook I got from the Knitting Tutor has 12 days of bobbles and it, I think I might only have the first four. I don't know. I have part one. I haven't really looked that far ahead and there's a cable one, but I don't know if this would be good for cables. I don't know. Let me know what you think, Leslie. <laughs> but anyway, so... So that will be that bobble. And then these other four, whoops, I have two packs here. Here they are. So this four. So this one was for Little Lady. This royal blue is going to be a bobble for my husband. This is his favorite color. And Turtle's favorite color is red. So I have this for him. And then Burger's favorite color is green. So this will be for him. These are all just unknown skeins. They may be DK or even like light worsted. I have this one I'm pretty sure is maybe a sport weight. Um, but this and this are a little heavier. So I'm going to have to play around with needles and gauge and um, stitch count and all that stuff. So... Those will be 
my immediate cast ons um, before the next podcast. The baubles I may hold off because Fiber Friends is having um, ornament challenge. They're, they do a challenge every month in December, um, I believe is ornaments. So I think I'm going to wait to cast those on until the first. Um, and then, okay, so I'll put these back in here. And then, um, I think that's it. Another, if I get time, if I'm able, I know I'm not going to do this, but I still have my husband's socks to work on. Um, which every time I think I'm getting close to that heel, his are being worked toe up. I tried them on him last night and, you know, I still have a long way to go before I get to the heel. So I need to get going on those. Um, he said he didn't care if he gets those for Christmas or not. So no rush on those, but at least he'll have his hat for Christmas. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Just dishcloths and a lot of works in progress. I would like to work on Little Lady's cardigan. The poor child is not even going to get it this season. So hopefully it'll be big enough <laughs> to, um, you know, maybe still wear next year or something. I don't know. I got to get going on that. Um, but that's pretty much it. We have an exciting week coming up. Um, we have Turtle's birthday in here. We have my birthday in here. Um, and yeah, life is good. We are very blessed. I have been keeping up with my exercise and weight loss. It's been six weeks and I am six pounds down. So that is extremely exciting for me. I have a few more weeks before I can get more blood work and make sure that all that is in order. Um, I think it will be. Um, I personally think it was just over exaggerated last time due to some circumstances and yeah, and but it was a wake up call. So anyway, um, that is it for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you again on Thursday. That's just a couple of days. <laughs> Actually, by the time you're watching this, it'll just be tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Anyway, hope you have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.